Hi, I'm Len Wein. Hi, I'm Will Dennis. And this is your Before Watchmen moment at C2E2. So as a former editor on Watchmen, did you ever think something like this was going to happen? Sequels, prequels? I, I used to think there was a better chance of seeing the 30th of February than seeing more <laughs> Watchmen material. But you never know. That's what I love about this business. Anything is always possible. My favorite part of this process so far is everyone's enthusiasm. I have never seen a more talented group of people be more excited about doing the work they're doing. It's like we're all in competition, but none of us actually wants to say the words, I'm going to do a better job than you are. Because everyone looks at everyone else's work, at least so far, and goes, oh my god, I can't believe someone did that. Right. That's very true. You get a lot of guys that normally maybe don't even tell you how they're feeling, or you don't see them you know, online doing stuff, and suddenly like when stuff comes in, they're completely excited, they're all positive, and sharing like, their enthusiasm with each other, which is really like refreshing. Oh, it's breathtaking. When the splash page came in for the first issue of Rorschach, I actually wept. It was like, no, nobody can do something that good. I'm sorry, that's not possible. Yeah. It's like little kids. I, I was talking to Amanda this morning on Silk Spectre, and we're just, giggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great to see people who've done so much work and been working so hard for so long still feel like excited and passionate and, you know, new stuff comes in and they're excited about it because, you know, any business you tend to get after a while a little complacent or it's mm -hmm. just sort of routine or whatever, but this suddenly everyone feels like this is why they got into comics. You, know? you feel like newcomer almost. Right, exactly. It's amazing. So we've been getting questions from the fans off of Twitter, which mm -hmm. is really exciting to see. Um, Raving Nerd asks, how connected will the stories be? Will comedians show up in Night Owl? That sort of thing. Uh, yes. We're, we're, everything is connected. Some of it tenuously, some of it I think very carefully. I know that the Minutemen show up at one point and Ozzy and Dias, uh, so does the comedian. Uh, just, there is a mention in the original book about their first meeting, which we never saw. Now we're seeing it. Right. And there's a lot of that sort of thing. Everybody sort of walks through everyone else's book as they are needed to. Uh, Capeless Crusader asks, will any of the Before Watchmen books deal directly with the political maneuvering behind the Keen Act? There's a bit in Chaosim and Dias 5 that sort of touches on the Keen Act. Mm -hmm. That's the only one I know about this year. Right. And Rorschach happens during the summer of 1977, which is around the same time. So I think it may factor in there as well. Um, so far, exactly. Exactly. I, mean, what you said. I, I don't want to give too much away there, but the Keen <laughs> Act plays into kind of why Azam and Dias decides to stop being Azam and Dias. Right, and all the stories are set within this world, so clearly it's an issue, you know, for these characters. And that was your Before Watchmen moment at C2E2, exclusively at DCComics.com.